to the head coach of Finland's national team, the Finnish Bears. Matt Jenkinson, an Australian who played semi-professionally in England and Australia, told us about how he came to where he is now, where the game is in Finland now and where it is headed over the coming months and years. And now we're half a year away from the biggest cricketing event to ever take place in Finland. It's been promised for the last two years, the World Cup T20 qualifiers. And that's a heck of a challenge to play in a, a tournament that goes on. It's quite an intense tournament against what there's a total of 16 teams will be coming to Finland, eight in each each tournament. That's a heck of a challenge to get prepared for that. Yeah, um, you know, fitness is the key there. We, we, we saw that in Spain. Um, you know, we made a, um, a decision, you know, as a group that that's something that, you know, we have to be, we have to be fit, you know, you have to be strong, um, to be able to play the back-to-back cricket that you need to, you know, we're getting to a stage now where, you know, we've got structures in place now that that's one less thing that I have to worry about as a coach because the guys are doing the work and they know they have to if they want to be the best player they can be. So, you know, it's enabled us to progress with other skills, you know, other, other, other things, you know, areas that we've identified, you know, improving fielding, improving throwing, um, you know, some of the fundamentals of batting, Uh, being able to adapt to, you know, the situations that you face, especially with when you've got some decent bowling, you know, bowling at you. So yeah, we're sort of um, progress through that level, you know, quicker than I, than I would have thought actually. And like any team preparing for a tournament of that intensity, it's not just about putting 11 players on the field. It's about having a competitive squad. I mean, the preparations for that, what are you looking in terms of squad uh, numbers and and preparing to to face this sort of onslaught, if you like, of intense back-to-back games? Squad-wise, you've got to be prepared for that. So we've enlarged our squad, um, you know, through trials. Um, the plan is in the summer to have um, more elite games. So, you know, basically the, the best players playing against each other. It's it's what we have to do, um, you know, and, that, and when using that as, I guess, a uh, selection adds to a, another sort of uh, area of selection, seeing how guys perform against the best in Finland. Yeah, just to be the, the best prepared we can. I mean, you know, the fitness element that you talk a lot about. I mean, that's not just all on your shoulders. What has Cricket Finland got in place to 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 put in to put in place this fitness regime to get them ready and to look after them during the tournament itself? Yeah, we've got a fantastic strength and conditioning coach working with us, um, Simon from um, Study Fit. Um, so you know, he's got different sort of programs for the guys that have been following, um, building their progression. You know, good solid foundations, um, and you know, a whole sort of um, uh, itinerary really um you know to get us in the best shape and peak at the right time so um looking forward to you know the camp this weekend um we've got our, our fitness testing so we'll get a good uh, measure of where the guy's at also um you know our new inclusions to the squad um to see how fit they are how much can you get involved with the players on sort of technical level or is it this stage is all of it more mental <laughs> try run out in this in this sort of weather you know having the motivation to get out there when it's icy and, um, you know, snow about and cold, you know, for the majority of us are probably not growing up in that environment. Um, it is challenging um, for me, you know, personally going out a run in this sort of weather, you know, I laugh every time. Well, it's probably just as hard actually running in slush and, and ice as it is, you know, running in sand, you know, on the beach in Australia. So I actually quite enjoy it. It toughens you up mentally for sure. You know, that, that sort of, you know, having that dedication and, and they're, the, they're the players that, that we want you'll go into the tournament thinking that you can progress. You have to. You're with the hosts this year. I mean, have you got the ability? Have you got what you need to, to be able to do that? Yeah, absolutely. I think we've got the, you know, the, the squad. We've got the guys there to do it. There's still plenty of preparation to do. With the amount of time we get to see each other, so a lot of the, the guys have to take the onus, you know, on, onto themselves. We have to be, you know, we have to win. We're in the toughest group. When we saw the draw, I was totally happy with that because if you can't beat, you know, you can't be in the toughest group and beat it, then what's the point in continuing in the competition? Um, but what it means for cricket in Finland, it's a huge deal because, you know, the the ranking points and, and the additional funding for winning that part of the tournament, you know, it's it's a massive change for cricket in um, in Finland, you know, for, for us to be able to develop and, you know, progress the game, um, you know, to help us be more, you know, sustainable with the sport here in, you know, in a developing nation. So it's what all developing nations are, you know, trying to do. So every country 
um, that's going to be the tournament. It's going to be eyeing the same thing. We had a very successful try series with with Sweden, where it was proved that Cricket Finland can host these kind of events. It is a real opportunity to show off what there is here, isn't there? And actually, you know, to show off strengths that we have in Finland that perhaps other countries would be rather envious of. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's incredible. You know, I'll never forget my first time at the National Ground in Kadova. You know, you could have been any, you know, it was better than most grounds in the, you know, in the UK, you know, the, the nice picket fence around there, you know, beautiful, a large size, you know, uh, a decent size ground. Yeah, it's, it's quite phenomenal, really, that yeah, it, there it is in, um, you know, in Finland. And and now with our uh, partner, um, Sporting Sort of Excellence Centre in Ericula, um, to actually have some indoor facilities in this country is just a, you know, huge, um, huge development step. Um, you know, not only for, for uh, the national team, but also, you know, the clubs as well, the local clubs that, you know, are able to actually train indoors now through the winter. It's just a game changer, you know, for us. We're incredibly fortunate and, you know, it's just a credit to the work that um, Cricket Finland have been doing behind the scenes. I'm independent from any of the clubs, so um, not being here that long really in the country and around, um, you know, the cricketing setup here, but just what's developed so far is just incredible. And, um, you know, it's a testament to Cricket Finland. By the ICC see it because they've you know given them a tournament. Just going back one last thing, Matt, just about the uh, of selection for the for the tournament. I mean, how difficult is it then to 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 pick and choose your 11s for each for each game, and how how would you go about that? We want to be quite transparent with the guys regarding um, well, not only the national team guys but also any you know aspiring national players that. Um, you know, there is a sort of a selection process because of the lack of uh, international games that we've been able to play. So it's made that quite difficult. We've sort of come up, come to the decision that we can sort of focus on what we're in control of. So and that's our own sort of um, internal competitions here. You know, we can look at league performances um, to a degree, but, you know, ideally we want the guys playing against the best guys. So, you know, we've developed, uh, you know, increased our squad to be able to accommodate that so we can have, you know, what we're calling our elite days. Um, so I think there's probably seven or eight sort of scheduled um, games for those on the weekends that we're, we're playing the best against the best. Um, and, you know, there's sort of no arguments within the guys. So, um, and what I like about that is some guys actually play up, you know, when they're playing against a better standard, they actually, um, you know, come out of the shell, you know, it could be because of their technique or their character. We want to simulate what it's going to be like for the World Cup qualifiers as much as we can. So, um, you know, I think this is a, a pretty good way of doing that. Is that a, a sort of collaborative process between you and the skipper? I mean, you know, there's no no selection panel, is there, you know, along the lines of other, other clubs or, or international sides? As far as uh, our selection policy, we have... Um, some other games against Denmark and Sweden uh, coming up also um, and a little series there in Denmark. Um, we also have Estonia uh, scheduled to come across as well. So combining that with our elite days um, for the World Cup qualifiers, we've got to uh, choose a squad of 14 that will be um, 30 days prior to the tournament. So there's plenty of, uh, plenty of opportunities for the squad guys to, you know, um, put their hands up selection in that um i as head coach will be um i guess the, the the main selector um alongside uh the captain of of the first team what this means for the future i mean you're you're a dad of, of three young lads you know and there has to come a point where these tournaments and this exposure that finland gets don't tail off and that we sustain it, you know, so in 10 years time, you, you, you might be looking at your lads or whoever's lads it might be grown up in Finland and playing cricket for the national team. The way cricket is now, and I think, um, you know, the terms are dictated by the ICC now. So, you know, they want developing nations to, to develop the game and, in, you know, to be sustainable. So in order to do that, um, we need all the clubs to, um, you know, start developing themselves um, for the benefit of the game here. So, you know, for instance, I'd really like to see head coaches at the clubs, junior sections, women's uh, women's cricket, you know, those sort of things now. Um, we're at the point that these things need to start happening. Looking in the short term, you can only deal with the players that you have available to you and those players need to be provided by a, a well-functioning 
infrastructure, a club system within within the country. Uh, you know, how how do we envisage getting that steady supply of good quality players to the national team from the club setup? What needs to happen from the club's point of view, and what do they need in place to give you as a national head coach what you need in future? Uh, the ICC now have, have made progress with that, which will um, help us immensely. So um, they're looking at programs to help develop our club coaches, um, where we can we can you know facilitate that um, in Finland as well, which would be brilliant. Um, ideally, you know what I'd like to see is each club having a head coach, um, and those head coaches, you know, just like it like you know any other country in the world their your national team's eyes and ears as far as you know potential sort of development um you know identifying the talent that that's around there you know looking to put put together you know uh, development um squads um you know particularly in the juniors and you know just um feeding into you know the national team so putting a proper infrastructure in place i'm looking forward to the future that when you know the, the clubs get to that stage uh which is you know it's starting to happen you know and look forward to working with the coaches from various clubs um it would just you know bring the cricket on um a hell of a lot here in finland